Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 174, Roles for Site Administration. When working in a client's tenant, it is common practice for them to only provide the very minimum permissions required for us to do our jobs. When it comes to Power Pages, what are those permissions? While it does depend on the specific thing you're trying to do, the great news is that Microsoft does have documentation that outlines what is required. I don't want to regurgitate the documentation, but instead I'll talk about what we typically ask for when engaging with clients. In these cases, the goal is to have full permissions over the Power Pages site, and as few permissions as possible outside of that. First, there are two different types of permissions that might be needed. Microsoft 365 permissions and Power Platform Environment permissions. The M365 permissions are assigned to a user, and these apply to all environments. This includes roles like Dynamics 365 Administrator, Power Platform Administrator, and Global Administrator. On the other hand, the Power Platform permissions are assigned per environment, including System Administrator and System Customizer. Being the owner of a site, that is, the user that installs it, greatly simplifies things as the site owner has almost full control over it. Being the owner gets us what we need, without giving us anything we don't. To be able to install a portal, assuming portal creation hasn't been disabled at the tenant, you need a user account with a system administrator power platform environment role, and the ability to register an app in Azure AD. We found that in most cases, our clients are fine providing that level of access. There are two main areas that these permissions don't cover, setting up SharePoint and Power BI. Since these two scenarios require global admin privileges, we typically work with someone with these permissions to perform those steps, instead of asking for them ourselves. So to summarize, in our case, when we're engaging with a client, we typically request to be added as a system administrator to the Power Platform environment. And assuming that our account has the ability to register an app in Azure AD, we can then manage the Power Pages site, except the SharePoint and Power BI integrations. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 174 on roles for site administration useful.